hello guys welcome to the channel today i'm going to show you how to install windows 11 on 11 gen 12 gen and 10 gen systems okay this is a very new method before you know we have been using um going to intel site to download the file that is required for you to install so today i'm going to show you let's go to their sites first of all and uh, check if it's possible to install this device because there's a device that is necessary for you before you can install on 11 gen and 12 gen because if you want to install windows directly using a flash drive um you encounter not using the bootable device which is the storage device i'm talking about either the ssd or the hard disk that's inside the system so first what we have to do we have to download this uh, software so let's go to the intel site download intel rapid storage technology that's the name of the driver that is necessary to be installed after going there we check on their site we discover that you cannot download the extracted file that you need to copy and put in your windows flash okay you can see this is just a normal mail file like a software not an extracted files few months ago um intel usually put the file in this in this their platform you will see it f6 that's the file we need that's the file i'm looking for that's the file you need so how can we get this file because in the intel site is no more there again so what do you have to do what you have to do is first of all you have to know the model number of your system okay after knowing the model number of your system you go to the site of that system this works in any 11 gen 12 gen system at all you want to install a windows 11 it works on any one so first you must know the model number after knowing the model number you type in it like this system i want to install is a um, model hp 14. if you don't know how to check your model number you can watch my video on what to know before getting your pc all right it will teach you how to check your your model number that is your specifications you know the model number from there okay so after you knowing your model number then you have to go to their site if it's a Dell, you have to go to a Dell site. You type in the model number, drivers, that is required. Okay, now we are here in HP site. Okay, we are going to select the type of OS we need, which is uh, Windows. You can either you use Windows 10 or Windows 11. Both drivers is going to work. All right, so let's just expand and make sheets look more better okay so we are choosing windows 10 so we are going to choose you have the version is very important you must not choose any of those other versions just choose windows 10 especially if you don't know the version of the windows you want to use okay so now we go to um the drivers as required we go to driver storage okay so in this driver storage you have five drivers are there so you look for the intel rapid storage technology drivers that's the one we are downloading so you download it after downloading it now this system i'm using is a sysgen that is where you need another system for this process because you are not going to use um, that same um, system that you want to install a windows okay you can you can use it if the system is booting down to the desktop if you have a situation whereby it is not so you have to use another system to download the, the drivers then after doing that you run it after running it will extract specifically if that system is not um, the, the system it will not install directly rather it will extract and goes down to your local disk like this now after doing this next we accept the license next then we extract it goes down to c 
to look at this C. So we go we are going to look at this C now to check the file. Okay. So here in this SW setup, you see it. I have two drivers I've downloaded. You check for the one of the name. You can see the name of the uh, drivers. Then we go down. You have to copy the whole of the drivers. The whole of those files you need it. You copy it. Then on the flash you want to install, you put you insert it and copy out those drivers. Like my, I have done that. So you, you just have to do that after copying it to the flash. The next step is to run it on the system. Here's my flash to run it on the system. So we insert the flash and uh, in Windows, um, to install Windows on HP is uh, we go to F9 to go to the boot menu, select the flash. From here, we are going to go to the setup Choose the language we want to install. Then we take the license, customize. Now you can see that the storage device is not showing. What do we do as this has happened? Okay, this is where we have to get that file which we have just copied to the flash. All right, so what we have to do now is to go to our load drivers. Uh, where you see load drivers, then you go to browse okay then you search for the flash go down and there's my flash being set up then you look for the drivers then after seeing the drivers you look for f6 that's the file f6 is the main file normally in a uh, intel uh, drivers websites that's where you see that f6 back then it used to be there but now they just remove it okay so this is the new way to um get your storage drivers installed for you to see your driver so that you can install a new windows all right so you can see this is all the um, storage devices in the system so we have to delete them and um, for deleting we have to format the format then we install the new windows all right so this is very simple of doing it um this is the best method you can use um doing this so let's just install this windows okay it's restarting now all right oh uh, please uh do it to like this video um if it's very helpful please do well do well to share it to your friends all right this process is the best for you to install your windows okay so please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to hit the notification button okay let's set up the Okay, we have to connect to our internet for it to proceed. So we have to connect to my internet. All right, I have to put the password. In some cases, there are some systems that you don't need to do this. You don't have to connect to the internet to get some um, updates. But this one is required. All right, so we have to. You can also bypass it, but we don't have to do this. We have to just so that it install all the necessary drivers and information it needs for it to run efficiently. Okay, after putting it, we have to wait. Okay, you can see it's checking for updates. After updating. Okay, the next procedure you have to uh, install to your Microsoft account. If you don't have one you have to sign in uh, you have to create one so I have one already so I've just put the email they will have to send me a code to my email after that I put the code to log in then all your information that was in that your Microsoft account will be on the system all right then here you have to select the drive to restore if you want to restore i said for new one i don't want to restoration um you just have to accept all these settings and click next um you can skip this if you want to okay if you don't have money to buy a microsoft 365 you can decline it and move forward you can see here you have to skip you have to skip that 
so we just wait for a few minutes and we are done okay 